How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to Craft the World. Let's play. So we've been doing really good so far. We've got a above ground house which is fortified with two arrow towers each side. Uh, plenty of traps in front which is making it really hard for mobs to get uh, into our base and a sheep. <laughs> Um, and these traps are really slowing down the bigger monsters really good. Uh, off camera, what I've been playing with is the spell called Magic Forest. And you'll notice when you cast it, just over a patch like one of my forest farms, uh, it pretty much makes trees grow instantly for 4 mana, which is pretty effective. And you usually get a couple of trees worth out of it, so it's uh, pretty nice. Uh, what else have we got? Our wheat farm's going good, and it's ready to harvest over here. So I might actually send some guys in to get this done. Although there is a monster here. Okay, let's deal with the zombies, and that'll do. And this guy's gone down there for some reason. Okay. So I'll get my dwarfs to deal with this. Incursion of zombie proportions. And then we'll harvest some, uh, some grain. So there's chickens, there's, oh, there's everything going on here, guys. And the rain naturally falls along here, which keeps the wheat watered. So it's been really effective. Now, what I am going to do this video is we can upgrade our cooking equipment now. So we can make a stone kitchen stove. Stone kitchen stove. Sounds very similar -ish which is an upgrade to the cooking fire. So we need cook pots, stone, which I have heaps of, piece of iron, a coal, and some of these brick walls, which is kind of cool. Luckily, I've been making heaps of them. So I'm going to make two and actually replace my old kitchens with it. And that way I can start using all this grain that I've harvested. What I also did if you run out of grain to plant, you can actually click on Grunt Shop. Um, and I haven't, I don't think I've actually shopped in this playthrough yet, but a lot of the stuff you can buy is not totally worth it, like leaves and logs and stuff. But occasionally, like if you just need one thing to unlock a recipe, you can actually get right into it. Um, so in, I think it's this one. Can I buy the grains in here? No, it's a recipe item. So you can buy five grains for one gold, which I think it's worth spending a couple of gold on it, and it just means you can replant straight away. Um, the grains do drop right outside his store, so you might want to leave a portal there so your dwarfs can go get them nice and quick. And that way, you can sort of, for a pretty low price, you can keep your grain cycling through. Um, I've got plenty of grains, so I'll replant and just keep a continuous supply going here which is cool and there we go and that's annoying me there's one tree in the way there so let's cut that down and I need to change that to earth and that's all there is to it so that's going alright now, one of my dwarfs should be making those kitchen stoves, so are they ready? Are they not? Where are they? No, 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 no. Looking around. Is it actually in this menu? So you can see there's all this new stuff I want to cook. Uh, I think they need the kitchen though. Yeah, they do. Okay, so where is our kitchen? Mmm... No, not in here. I doubt it's in the armor bit. That would make no sense. Could be a furniture item, yep. Okay, they're being built still. Uh, it could be this dwarf going up now. Ah, uh, yep, yep, that's cool. They won't be long. Okay, comfort score's good. It's up to 60, which is very nice. Uh, let's check our crafting tree and see what we're up to here. So we've, we're making it quite nicely along here. So we're ready to start advanced cooking. Uh, we need to finish advanced decorating, so we need to go sim style. Uh, what seems to have a good benefit here? The vase, the shield, or the potted palm. So let's go check it out. All 
Alright, the potted palm doesn't seem too bad. Just needs bucket. The vase, dyes and glass. That's actually pretty good too. Uh, and I have plenty of that stuff left over, so I'll make two of those. I'll just queue a few things and get it going. Uh, the palm I can craft at the moment. Although it does need my precious buckets, which I'm a bit loath to give up because buckets are quite useful and hard to find apparently. <laughs> I'll make some more buckets, that's cool. No dramas. And some clay. And some water. And let's make two of those. Okay, that's almost done. The last thing was a shield, but I need a steel sword to put in there. But I do have some spare steel, so why not? But I've got to wait for someone to craft that. So that's okay. So everything's going along nicely there. Alright, while we're waiting, let's see. Is there anything we need to stock up on? Got a fair bit of wood at the moment. Uh, let's see, planks. I uh, could probably do with some more planks, actually. So let's get our carpenters going. And... You can actually flick this switch to craft just like lots of 10 of it. Um, but I don't know, I don't think it's necessary just yet. Get a few carpenters on the job there. Let's grab some of these trees. Then, she might try a magic forest again. Get some more stuff growing. And I was just under attack somewhere, but where? Where are we under attack? Ah, uh, whoops. Ah, oh, they're over here. Why on earth are they climbing all the way over here? Honestly. Okay, so we need wheat there, wheat... Okay, let's clear all this out. We'll go wheat the whole way. Okay, so wheat there, chop that drown, drown. Can you plant wheat there? Over the roots? Yeah, you can. Cool. Okay, this guy, is he drowning? Uh, let's take control. Okay, so you can actually take control of dwarfs. Uh, that doesn't seem to be working. Let's try a portal. I'll get a dwarf to come bail him out. He seems to be stuck. Uh, maybe another dwarf. If they dig that out, that might help. I'll get someone to dig this block. Oh no, there we go. He got out. Christmas is saved. Nice one. Alright, we'll just get these trees chopped out. So this is a pretty effective wheat farm, this. So that's cool. And there we go. Ah, rats. Last one. Beautiful. Alright, these kitchen stoves should be done. They are. So let's dig up our old ones. And hopefully the new ones are not much bigger. Okay, we've got some dwarves making planks, which is excellent. And let's just equip our new kitchens, which are in the furniture menu. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, I think they're about the same size. No, of course they're not. Why would they be the same size? And make my life easy. Um, hmm. I would rather the... Oh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Hmm. I could put them down here, I suppose. They're tiny, why can't they go there? Because you can't put them near a bed. You can't put them under a lamp. They're a bit picky. So what if I just get rid of these two and I might be able to put two side by side perhaps. Let's find out. So sometimes the placement on this game, you just got to experiment with it a bit and see what's happening. What's clackalacking. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, I can put one there. Let's get rid of this lamp and this bed. And then I can have the two kitchens right by side. Oh, I see why they need the... They actually end up taller than what they first appear. 
Hmm, do I need a third kitchen? Hmm, hmm. Would I be cooking that much food? Probably not. Nah. I might just put some comfort items next to it. Hmm, hmm. I don't know. Oh, I've still got an old... Nah, I'd rather than... Nah, nah. Confusement. Actually, I'll get the equipment back from them. That's cool. Let's just make a third one. May as well. I've got the equipment. It means I don't have to worry about cook stuff probably for the rest of this map. So that's handy. That's handy. All right. Now let's uh, have a look at these new recipes. So what do we got here? A bun, a bun. All right, let's just do the old thing of making one of everything. Oh, it makes five buns. Okay, that's pretty effective. How about apple pie? Whoa. These must be good. No, they just make ten. How about the bread? Okay, the bread is pretty filling. And the grilled fish. Eh. Okay, I'll make the apple pie. Alright, you need... Whoopsies. Apples. Egg. Coal. And water. Beautiful. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Going once, going twice. I uh, need to make some more flour first. So let's actually get some more flour on the go. Beautiful. Okay, so our mills will be busy making that. Some dwarfs will be using the new kitchens, which is great. Now I wonder if these are actually the chefs. No, he's our 70 skilled miner. Right, that makes sense. I think I have a chef. Alright, this guy really needs to eat. He needs to have a rest. You go sleep. Uh, you need to eat. No, uh, they're doing okay. This guy worries me a bit. He needs something to eat. But it's not the end of the world. Okay, our last kitchen's almost done here. This is good. We've got the flour milling away. Hmm. Okay, kitchen's done. It's coming down now. Come on. I want to put my kitchen down. Comfort's going up again. This is excellent. And let's put our third kitchen in. Fantastic. Uh, we'll just put a comfort item next to it. Wooden chair, small table. Yeah, let's go to the potted palms. That should fit in there. Cool. Kilt, kilt, kilt. Can I squeeze something in here? Beautiful. All right. So three stove tops. Excellent. All right. Let's see if we can make. Still not sure how to make fabric, and I don't. I've got one. It's not enough. Alright, the decorative shield I can make now. So let's make one of those. That needs some timber. And just a piece of wood. Beautiful, and that's going to level us up. Excellent. Okay, where are we? Okay, we can do the advanced stoneworking now. And we can also start weaving. Wardrobes, chairs, a pennant, mm, and thread. And let's check out, do these do anything? Whoa, check it out. This statue gives a five plus skill bonus to all swordsmen. Okay, that's pretty sweet. How about this one? Gives minus plus five skill. Okay, I have to make that. That is too good to pass up. So I'm going to make that statue. Uh, thread is made out of woolen planks, so let's get that happening. Don't delay. Uh, the thread is probably used in most other weaving, so I'll make a few of them now. A fountain. Let's see what that does. Decorative piece for outdoors. Okay, it doesn't really do anything spash. But it is stone crafting, so let's make it. Bang, and a bit of water. Uh, let's make two of them. Okay, stone bridge. Uh, simple technology. 
So it's just a bit of an upgrade to the normal bridge. Uh, let's make five. Uh, it's gargoyles. So it just goes on the side. Oh, I'm sure I can fit one in. Why not? Let's chuck a gargi in. Let's make two. And how about this one? Same deal? Nah, I don't, uh, I'll make one. Just to fill up the recipe. And here we go. Here's some new stuff. Uh, a wardrobe. Increases, lowering your drawers. So it's a big comfort item, that one. A wall carpet for interior deco. I can actually craft that, so let's make a couple of those. And needles, one, two. Should I make more? Nah, nah. I'll try and spread it around. What's the pennant do? Whoa, 12 comfort, that's huge. Okay, but I need this fabric that I still can't make. So I'll have to pass on that. And the fabric chair, I can make one of actually. So let's crank out one of them too. Lovely. And I have a feeling with all this crafting I'm doing, I'm gonna to need to kill some sheep. Some sheeps am going to have to die. So, are there any sheepies out wandering? Nah, he's not worth it. He's not worth it. Any other sheepies? Hello? Little sheep? Man, I've killed them all. Oh, there's one. Okay, let's go get him. You're going down, sheep. And we might as well get some trees while we're here. Alright, get that sheep. Okay. I uh, just got an achievement, chicken exterminator. Yep, I just really don't like chickens. It's the eyes, not many people see it. Alright, these new axes, the steel axes are making tree chopping a very quick task. Very, very quick. No complaints there. Okay, wheat farm's going good. Alright, let's go back, see how all this crafting's going. Yep. Yeah, we're doing good. Okay, let's check out the tech tree. So I just need to be pumping out stone work, really. So, uh, where were those gargoyles? Okay. No, where was that statue of the one that gives us the bonus? Is he down here? No. No, he's not in here. He's not a food item. Oh, did I not make him? Ah, oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll make one of each. You reckon? I think so. Okay. Bang, bang. Steel sword. Get him happening. Nice. And, uh... I can't believe I've lost them again already. Where on earth did I see them? Um... Ah, whoops. My bad. And I just need a mace, a steel club. Do I have one of them? I should do. I have five. Cool. Actually, that's really getting them up. I'll make two of those. And, uh, yeah. Our stonework's almost finished. And we're about to get invaded. I reckon with all this stonework going on, I can probably just pump it up with making something silly like a bridge. No, that's not going to do it. It's too slow. How about the fountain? Mm, yeah, I could make some more fountains. And water. Oh, let's just push it. Yep, that'll do it. I'm probably going to need a second one of these workshops soon. Yep. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, it's, it's the workshop. I just need a large table. And I need nails for that, which I need iron for. Beautiful, large table. You do get a lot quicker at these menus once you've been playing for a while. Alright, fantastic. 
Alright, the invasion's coming soon, so I might send my dwarfs home. Wherever they are. Sheep, I'm going, coming back for you later, buddy. The chicken's trying its hand at mining. Nice. Oh, we got a new task. Weaving. Okay, cool. Alright, where's all my dwarf friends? They're not climbing over the hill, are they? Of course they are. Here you go, take a shortcut, guys. Nice, nice. Okay, so let's see how our new defenses hold up with the invasion tonight. So I've got four arrow towers. And I'm, I've got a feeling this is gonna, gonna go alright. Here we go. Is there any new monsters this time? Skellies? That's okay, we've got that covered. They should land on the bridge. Okay, that's a lot better than last time. Okay, big guy, we can handle him. Yep. So far, so good. Is it going to be one of those beholders again? Probably. Oh, check out these arrow tails, guys. That's doing the work for me. Not quite quick enough to beat them all, but definitely helping. Definitely helping. And we're under attack? What are you doing out here, man? Get out of here. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's this bit that they get stuck on. Come on, you. Can I take control of him? How do I move him? Ah, he's stuck. Come on, move, 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 move. There we go. Come on. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'll release him and see what he does. Man, this guy is dumb. I'm gonna have to chop this little bit off here. It's getting dwarves stuck in it. And I really should be watching my base. Yep, that seems like we survived okay. No mobs coming this side. Okay, finally got this sorted. I think I might even dig out this bit too. Whoa, that bow is great. Cool. So if I dig this pocket right out, it means... Cookbook, nice. The water's just gonna keep flowing down. Problem solved. Problem solved. Okay, go on, take him out. Nice. Okay, that's looking alright. Oh, there's a sheep. Excellent. Yep. Beautiful. Alright. So, I was in the process of making a second workshop. And now I have the table. I can craft it. So, iron pick. Uh, three logs. Stone and a bit of sand and that's ready to go straight away, which is handy Pretty makes sense if both dwarfs come up here So I might move the wooden workbench down and put the uh, stone bench up here uh, No, not this one. I'll put the other timber bench down here or something. So I've got one there Where's the other one? I think dwarves can use workbenches for timber cutting too, which is actually pretty handy. Um, so no complaints there. Uh, so we'll put that there. And as soon as it's returned to the stockpile, which it just was, I can... Ah, damn. There we go. I was just trying to space them out, get them close, not waste the space. Okay, check tech tree. So need more woodworking going on and more cooking. So let's cook some more stuff. What else can we make? Can we make bread? Yes, we can. We can now, we've got the extra flour. So water, an egg, and a bit of coal. Lovely. Okay, seems like we need flour for quite a lot here. 
So I might just buy some grain and speed up this process a little bit. Okay, portal here and my dwarves can just come get all that grain and I'll turn it all into flour just to speed things up a bit. So we're not spending forever, absolutely forever waiting for everything to craft. Okay. Ah, oh, I can make fabric. Finally. Finally. Okay, so it's wool and dye. And that's going to make 10. And it's ready straight away. Excellent. So I can finally upgrade my beds, which is pretty sweet. Are they... Hmm. Comfort 5. That's an improvement. No, oh, They are a bit of an upgrade. Hmm. I'll just see if I need fabric for anything else. Oh, these were the big comfort things, weren't they? Yeah, I think I'll make the banners first. Uh, it's three wood. Let's go two. And then I'll make the rest into the new beds. Okay, cool. So that's going to get that pretty much upgraded, which is excellent. And all that grain is coming in, so let's make... Gee, I've got a lot of wheat. Grown to produce seeds. Can I actually... Ah, why am I buying... <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was just thinking, can't I turn the wheat into uh, grain? So you've got to harvest the grain but harvest the wheat, but then you craft it into grain. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. I've got it now. So now I can make an absolute butt ton of flour. So let's, let's just go nuts here. We keep running out of it, so let's just, let's just make 28. I've got three mils, so that should happen pretty quickly. All right, we've got all our stone stuff upgrading. Beds are being made, bread's happening. Got three dwarves making flour. Yep, good, good, good. Very productive. Okay, a wardrobe. Oh, I forgot to put these windows up. Uh, let's get this wardrobe crafting first. One of them, some of those, and lots of them. Can only get enough for one. So apparently these windows have a fair bit of uh, comfort in them. So maybe we could put a window up here. We can put windows up there, let some light in. Sounds nice. Any other windows? No. That's it. Oh, I like how you can actually see through them too. I can see the clouds and all that going through. I like that. No, it's not like I can put much else there, so... Might as well chuck that in. I don't know, how about a subterranean window? Could work, it could work. Ah, finished weaving, excellent. So, oh, expert armor. It's time for steel armor, guys. And a diving helmet. Advanced fortifications. So we can really upgrade our traps. And alchemy, ooh. Oh, but I can't make these just yet. I need to finish cooking in stone first. All right, that's okay. So what do we got here? Whoa, eight armor, that's nice. So a bit of iron and steel. Plenty of steel and coal. And what else could we make? A serving spoon. Oh yeah, they make our cooks a bit more efficient. It's probably worth it having two of those. Hmm, <laughs> let's see. The helmet's probably the cheapest upgrade, but... So I need lots of iron and lots of coal. So let's make a bit of steel anyway. Let's see, I'll use a fair bit. 40 steel, that should get us going nicely. 
and some more food. I'm getting close. Where's all this flour these guys are supposedly making? Actually... Is any of these the miller? I've got a miller, don't I? Yeah. Warrior, cook. Okay, where's the cook? Alright, let's improve him a bit. Miner. Hmm. Maybe I should make him a bit of a fighter too. So, he, because he's so skilled, I should get him to protect himself better. Which makes sense. Okay. So we've got plenty of milled flour. Well, I'm starting to get it. It gets made pretty slowly, unfortunately. Hey, you're not making stone stuff. Get back in there. I'm not paying you to stand around. All right, what else can you make? Oh, I can put the gargoyles out. Um, oh, I've got that. It's queued, queued to make. Uh, what else does the tree we're up to? More fountains, more gargoyles. I only need a couple more things. He's making the fountains now. Oh, I don't need anything else. No, that's fine. Can the gargoyle go there? Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that looks sweet. Alright, so stonework's almost done. Ah, oh, gee. I called that one, which means fortifications are open. So iron traps, a stone loophole. What's all this new stuff? What's this ladder, iron fence, slows down the enemy to attack from behind cover. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Drains more health from animals. Okay. The iron cage. Rendering them completely helpless. Okay, that sounds like a... The cage has been useful. So, I'll make a couple of them. Uh, to each side. Sounds good to me. Alright. So, let's get it down. I can see iron's going to become a problem soon. Oh, they make three each. Okay, let's make six. A flag. Also used to build... Whoa! Extra stockpile camps. So I can actually make a stockpile somewhere else. That's pretty interesting. I, I think I have to make that. Oh, I have no fabric. I have no dye. So where, how do you make dye? Oh, yeah. Okay. And some resin. Let's make 10 of those. Nice one. Alright, we're getting towards the end of this episode, guys. So, what have we achieved? We've advanced some tiers. We can make steel armor and weapons now, which is pretty exciting. Advanced fortification, expert armor. We've got the advanced cooking open. Our base is pretty defensible now with all the traps and arrow towers. And gargoyles, by the way. Got good flower production, finally. Plenty of blacksmiths. We've upgraded our kitchen so we can actually get some good food happening. And speaking of that, I should be putting food on the table. Let's put the pies out. Nice one. Okay, that's nice. And uh, yeah, actually I probably should move this chest and put another table up here with food on it. Just so it's more accessible for the dwarves. And uh, yeah, we've got magic tree, foresty things growing, which is nice. So, really glad I learned how to use that and get more trees happening. Very handy. Hmm, more trees over here too. So, we probably are getting to the stage where we really need to start digging down, down, down into the depths of the world here. So, I think next episode, I reckon we should come and check out this area. There's gold. There's some specky little thing here and then these big chunks of something. So all I have to do, I already started digging down, is just scale down here and get to this sweet area here. So that's what we're looking at next episode. Thanks as always for watching, really appreciate it. Leave, hit a like, 
hit a like, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and leave a comment, guys. You know, get involved. If you've got any tips for me, uh, or your tips to share with other players as well, uh, by all means, leave a few tips. All right, thanks for watching again. Stay happy. This is Happy Days signing out.